God, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. So we're doing the podcast for the first time in a while, and yeah. we're and we're like filming this. And first... we've been in this apartment for about seven days straight, as you guys probably have. No, no, Mo's been in this apartment for seven days straight. I have been going to work on oh, the let's, front line. Right. Let's just, technically, let's just remember that. Technically, right. you've been working as a doctor while I've been sitting in my bathroom writing. Doctor, a screenplay. <laughs> For those of you who are wa- are not watching us and just listening, I was making a lot of like hand quotes. Because I'm wearing a uh, a bathrobe. Ashley's in her doctor coat. We decided we're, if we're going to film this, we're going to really just try to dress up. Uh, and then I didn't feel like dressing up. So Ashley put on her doctor coat and then we just... This is, this is how we live all the time, actually. He's yeah. like saying we did this for the podcast, but because I'm a doctor, yeah, yeah. I, I, I am full time wearing one of these coats. That's how it works. That's true. People in, think in the home. That, like, you know, doctors sometimes yeah. will insist you call them doctor something. Right. Or they'll write doctor before their name when they're just signed into a hotel. Yeah. And it's not like they're going to do any doctor stuff. No. Just, well, Ashley actually wears her doctor yes. coat. Around the house. I demand respect from him at all times. Right. This is this is what's true. But yeah. the good news is she's a urologist and she also likes to do a lot of exams if we're wearing the doctor coat. No, that's not true. She doesn't. So anyway, uh the world is like gone to oh. to- total absolute crazy. Is that what's shit. Been, so what yeah, let's right? start like, what has anything like- <laughs> happened since our last podcast? Has anything <laughs> happened since we last did? I'm not your footstool. Ashley was trying to put her feet on me. Giving me coronavirus of the toes. Uh, has anything happened? Do you think, Doc? The world has is just entirely up in flames. It's see, is this it? is yeah. See, we have uh, this illustrative studio here where we have depictions of hell and New York City because that is what is going on there. I know it's <laughs> it's fucking, not a joke. It's, it's not a joke. Crazy. I'm like, it's I'm like crazy. laughing because this is ironically the uh, decor that I I did have. In yeah, stop my... referencing the set. Most of the people are just going to be listening. <laughs> All right. You know, so well, this is more of an in reason to, to <laughs> listen to watch our podcast. Oh, okay? I see what you're doing. You're baiting yeah, them to yeah, watch. I'm it. baiting them because you guys will get to see the true the true in, internal decor of my apartment in, in right. Portland, Oregon, which That's is very right. thrilling, very thrilling. You'll be able to see where I will probably not leave for the next three months. You'll see the chamber where Mo is tortured. Um, that the, <laughs> the devices for that will take you on a home tour. Right. But uh, but no, to start, I had these like uh, artsy little uh, maps, and there's one of every place I've lived. You can't see the top two. Uh, but, but hell w- represented certain parts of my professional training. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. dramatic. I know, that hell dramatic. is meant to depict parts of your life? Yes, yes. Is it the parts that I've been involved in? No, I bought this actually before I met you. Oh, my God. Yeah, what a I coincidence. Know. I know, I know. It really was. <laughs> but no, New York City. So I did my residency yeah. in New York City at, at New York Presbyterian Hospital. Um, it was, you know, just a tremendously important part time of my life. And... A huge number of my best girlfriends and and guy friends are still in New York City, and we were all having a big. I mean, you 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 came in and saw it. We were all having like a big group video chat this weekend. You and guys are very close. It's like yeah, you guys have that bond. Like you've gone through war together. Yeah. Once you go through residency, you probably bond with people. Yeah, and it's it like was, you know, it's honestly, it's like comedians with open mics. I think it? going through the open mic circuit, those are the people that I'm still like you know pretty close with. Yeah, that's like our intern days, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, It was like bottom of the rung. Yeah. Before I became a big star. Was right. Making all this money. And dressing like uh, designer uh, headbands. Yeah. <laughs> no, so anyway, a bunch of them are, you know, basically on the front lines in New York. And it yeah, sounds crazy. Them. I mean, they had at Cornell, I think they have 40, sorry, 72 as of the time we were talking to them. By the time we post this, I'm sure it's going to be radically altered. But I think 72 people on ventilators in ICUs um, and to like, you know, explain that I'm sure everybody's been hearing a lot about that recently, but to explain that that's basically when you have such a severe lung condition that you can't breathe on your own and you need a machine to basically breathe for you. So a ventilator and, is like what they give people when you do like surgery, right? It's, it's the, it goes down your, your lungs and actually, is it like that when you see someone on a breathing tube, is that a ventilator? Oh, so this is a great question. So a breathing tube is the pipe that you have to, uh, connect you to the ventilator. 
Right? Oh, okay. So it's so, like it's like your exhaust is connected to the engine or something. Okay, right? so breathing tube like, is like <laughs> is like the plug that plugs you into the ventilator. Yeah, exactly, exactly. To close the circuit between your Ugh, lungs. So right. scary. It, it's like you just the idea that like people are getting this fucking thing and then they just can't breathe and then you see these images of them like locked up or even people who are kind of recovering but they got the nasal breathing things. It's just very scary, man. Well, that's the thing. I, I think a lot of people don't really understand what it's like to be in an ICU. I mean, you know, people who are downplaying it, right? Like, like even if you say, okay, young people like our age in their 30s or younger, right, have a, have a very low rate of death. It still this. sounds it's horrible. Still, a lot of right, them are going right. to the ICU, though. Right, exactly. Yeah. So even though you don't have a high risk of death, you know, before you don't die, you still have to end up in an ICU to stay alive, right? And And what that process looks like for a lot of people, are a few things, right? A breathing tube, tube down your throat, okay? A lot of that experience is disorienting. So sometimes you're sedated, sometimes you're not. Um, and in your stupor, through that process, they, they don't want you to pull out the breathing tube, right? Because that's like life-sustaining. So a lot of the time... You are tied down, okay? Ugh, Literally, God. like your hands and your on your. And for any of our bondage listeners, it's not the good not, time. Not, no, it's no. not the good kind of. No, they're like, wait, tied down and something jammed down my throat. I'm listening, oh, but it's not in the good way. This no, is a very not in bad the good way. way. Like, yeah. literally not in the good way. And let's mm -hmm. say you're on a vent for a long time, right? Then you can get like bed sores. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's just all sorts of Plus, things. Plus, I mean, are just honestly, really... yeah, that's terrifying. And then also. Like, say you just have any normal medical thing right now. Like, your mom fell and hurt her knee, and she wanted to go to the doctor. Yes, and, and you're her like, knee looked horrible. Yeah, yeah, her knee looked horrible. You're like, don't go to the emergency room unless you absolutely have to, because then you're going to be exposed. You could be exposed to stuff. Right, because all the people who are coughing and COVID-19 positive are going to one... What place are they going? They're going to the hospital. So it's... Taco it's, Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell. I mean, really, if you were like having a hard time breathing, you'd go to Taco Bell. Is that what you do? You'd yeah. Do? I just yeah. want to get it over with. <laughs> you just... <laughs> You just be like, let me, so, let me, let me just choke on this Doritos Loco Taco. That's just let's like the way back I'm it up go for, out. Let's back it up for a second, and we are going to get into a few sex medicine questions as well because you know people. Yeah, are but locked this is what up. everybody's thinking about. Yeah, but yeah. people are going to are locked up, so they're going to be fucking. But yeah, I want to back it up. One thing, uh, this we're going this video. If anybody's listening, we're going to post it on my YouTube channel for now. Yeah. Before we get a uh, full release YouTube channel up yeah. and running, so that'll be at Mo Mandel. That's Mo Mandel on YouTube, and uh, feel free to subscribe because that's where we're gonna we're gonna post these for the time being. And yeah, yeah. Um, also, I wanted to share my little experience. I was doing stand up last weekend in Phoenix on the road Which at a comedy club, and I was working Thursday through Sunday. And crazy enough, even though I think on Friday they declared a national emergency, I believe it was, people still showed up to the shows. You know. And so again, what what days were those? Exactly those those were, were like because uh, I don't want people. It to ended like, on like it ended on like what 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 date's it today? Like the sixteenth or something? Or no, what is it? No, today's like the twenty second or something. Yeah, so we have like was, a great grasp of time. It was either. last Thursday, so I think it was like the sixteenth. It was the end of the yeah yeah. It was the fifteenth was the last show, so that was a Sunday. So. It was crazy. It was like the whole world shutting down. And this and was right out. while everything was rapidly changing. I everything mean, I was think rapidly that was changing. when it was like went from, you know, over the few days around that weekend, it went from like, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't say zero to 60, but like probably like 10 to six. You know yeah. What I mean? like, like I like, for, like, this is how fast it changed. I was on the, <clears throat> the shuttle from the airport uh, from the car lot. And the guy was like, yeah, the guy driving was like, yeah, me and my wife are going to go to North Carolina for a religious conference. And now they just canceled the conference. And I made a joke. I was like, why don't they just pray a little harder? And he laughed or whatever. And then probably he was like fucking Jew, well, but, um, that was a pretty good joke. Funny. I thought it was good. It was good. No? I, I, okay. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not the best joke I've ever had, but, <laughs> but anyway, he said to me, he was like, I'm still going to fly out there, you know, just to hang out. And that was on Thursday, and then by Sunday it was like no one's flying anywhere unless no, they fucking have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's pretty crazy. And People you, I mean, you felt conflicted by the end of that weekend and doing the rest of your shows, especially because you know you spray mostly instead of say. Yeah, no, and, I spit a lot up there. And, and everybody people were sitting in the front row. Yeah, yeah, and you had to say everybody who sits in the front row has to be on a mandatory quarantine <laughs> from from your face. These people secretions. did not look stressed. There was like the people who came to the shows were just like, I don't give a fuck. They were drinking like whiskeys. 
just fucking, you know, getting drunk. I know, but it's not. We smoking cigarettes out in front. Of, I mean, people would. But people, we shouldn't glorify that, right? Because no, I'm that not glorifying is, it. At that all. is the stuff. Like, fine. Now we finally crack down on that. But that is the stuff that there are people out there who are continuing to act that way, and that those are the people who are putting everyone at risk, right? right. I mean, those are the people who like exponential spread of disease and put everybody in healthcare. You know, nurses, right. doctors, but hold people. On. Cl- all at risk. I don't right? want to. So, I don't want to throw these people in the bus, though, because I, I was no, bus. no, because I was performing and and they were there and and people hadn't quite realized how crazy it was. No, here. and by the end of that so weekend, I, I felt I felt like conflicted. You know that yeah. you were doing that. I, I was mean, conflicted about like, it too. I just kind of I love the club owners. I love the staff. I uh, you know they they got to work. You know I had an obligation to be there. People were coming. I, I was conflicted about it, but I don't want to throw these the people who came to the shows under the bus because while they were a rowdy bunch. Uh, on a few shows, you know, a lot of them actually, they were just kind of people who were just, I think they were kind of where I was at, where they were like, it's serious. We don't know how serious and we're just going to go out. So they were, they were nice. They were, they, uh, you know, I felt, no, I, I think- felt like they were good people. And then midway through the show, they were kind of like a little starting to get a little, you know, some of them would get a little freaked out because they were like, wait a minute, they keep talking about the coronavirus. Like everybody's talking. About yeah. This. Why are we not? Why are we here? <laughs> you know? Right. No, but, I, and I mean, I at the time, I think it was rapidly evolving. And I think now in the intervening week, the calls have been really clear. Right. Now, know, fuck so, no, I would never, I would never do that. Now. And again, yeah, I'm not disparaging people in that moment. I'm saying that people who are still, you know, trying to go out and congregate in groups now. Yeah. You know, really stop doing that if you're doing that. Just, yeah, yeah. definitely. Don't do that. Just don't. It, it was interesting just, though, because like I said, I love the club owners. I love the club. And I also kind of feel like an obligation to the people too. You know, it's like, People who are there, regardless if they should be or not, like they're looking for some escape, you know, they're looking for some fun. Yeah, so but I was like that, determined that, to give them a good show. I didn't want to like, I didn't want to can't, I don't know. I just felt, I felt like kind of felt like, you know, there's not a lot of roles, not a lot of purpose I have in this world career wise. I feel like making people laugh is that thing. So if I can kind of help do that, I don't know. That's kind of where I was at with it. No, for sure. But I, I think like, again, and like just for, you know, to be clear on this, where we've gotten now oh, is yeah. that now it's is that yeah. everything yes, everybody feels an obligation to like fans or, you know, attendees of venues and blah blah blah. But like Oh, we I don't feel that to, much of an obligation anymore. Ban- Fuck them. Now they're on their own. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Nobody, also, <laughs> nobody can have any fun anymore. If you're a spring break kid down in Florida partying, fuck you. Okay. Fuck you. You guys suck. You know, I do you see that? Spring yeah, breakers. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, no, I mean, you were telling me the more horrible thing, and I, and then we can change the topic from like outrage. I'm uh, outraged. We're like that there are people going up and, and like making YouTube videos of coughing on old Dude. people. Like, that's like the freaking worst. I like, know this guy in LA who posted, who, no, who tagged a video that he was in because he was shopping and some fucking kid came up and coughed on him. And then another kid was filming him. I mean, that's, the that's like down. despicable. I mean, uh, you should like. Anybody, be, anybody coughs on me fake. I mean, on purpose or accidental, you better be ready to die. It's going to be a war. Unless you're Ashley. But basically anybody other than that, because she's like the only person I know who I'm coming in contact with these days. So Ashley, you can yeah, cough. True. I'm not going to be thrilled about it. I might Dr. Ashley. Room. Dr. Ashley. Remember, I'm wearing my white coat at all okay. times in the shower. Hey, you Having know, bowel movements. Yeah, Ashley's been having a lot of bowel movements. Well, I made us a large thing of chili because everybody was talking about canned beans yeah during this affliction i don't and, know why and so i was like okay we should make a chili because canned foods are the best thing for quarantine no they're not but then, i don't understand that but then you know okay, well they have good shelf life except uh, but it's, whatever it's, we were like a week into the quarantine i know so then so then the two of us were alone stuck in this apartment both having consumed mass quantities of canned beans and you know let's just say we were busy this weekend yeah, it was awful. I don't understand. Yeah, you and your sister were talking. You're like, got to stock up on beans. I'm like, we're going to be no, locked in this sister- place. It's going to be hard enough to find each other attractive after being locked in this place for a month together anyway or whatever it's going to be. Like, let's not fart as much as possible. I think we should definitely. All right. Hey, I want to. Uh, oh, do you have that COVID-19 New York sex guy? Yeah, that's what we're going to go through. Well, let's, let's get that. Let's get yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to pull up. it up. Uh, yeah, speaking here, of farting. Take this. And sex. Okay. So I don't know. What is this? So the state of New York's. Uh, medical society released uh, what is it it's not the medical society action squad heroes avengers right right um okay the new york city department of health yeah decided to publish a statement consensus statement on sex and coronavirus 2019 disease covid-19 and so they go through 
So this is the guide to fucking in the age of the corona. Yes, yes. Why didn't they just call it that? That's better. That's you. The you guide guys. to fucking in the age of the corona. Well, the corona, yes. That is, yes. My corona. Has anyone done that? Was that was my joke. That was my joke. No, that was my oh, Whatever. Fucking whatever. Has anyone done that TikTok video yet? My corona. <laughs> Has that been out the whole time? I'm just going to keep talking while Mo can't talk because his mic fell out. Let me talk more about my apartment decor where I have like this plastic fern here. So we actually, the two of us have a fern between us. My my, my Corona. Oh, did anybody see that video online of those guys doing that song? Move, bitch. You got coronavirus. This guy made his rap song. It's fucking dope. You guys should watch it. Move, bitch. You got coronavirus. Actually, let me find that. He's got the spray. Let me find that. All right, so let should we go through this? Uh, oh, so, I don't want to play the song first. All right, this is really important for you guys to listen to Mo doing YouTube searches for his favorite like teen rappers that are eight. All right, fine. Times they keep describing your me. furniture. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, here we go. Here we go. All right. Hey, Nino, that camera Oh, that's good. What are they drinking there? Let's talk this video out. What's he got on? He's get got ready, on. get ready. Oh, he's coughing. Wait, babe, your, your laptop's going to slip. Oh, yeah, now he's spraying something. Oh, yeah. He's, it looks like he's wearing a bodysuit. Anyway, it's a pretty dope song. It's good. All right. Get, get. So who, what's the artist for that? What is his name? Oh, G-Mac Cash. That's G-Mac Cash. Good. That's and good. it's got 1.5 million views. It's, it's I mean, it's a pretty sweet it's song. It's a good song. I, yeah, I like good. it. Yeah, it's good. bitch. Okay. Uh, okay, so all New Yorkers, this is, we're getting back to the whatever Mo title did document. Doctor, fuck, f- fuck, 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 coronavirus for 3,000. All right, this is the New York City Department of Health recommendations for sex and coronavirus disease. I mean, obviously, the fascinating thing is that they put this out, like, obviously enough people were, like, calling up the health department oh, and sure. asking. Well, let's and, speak- and also, let's also just remember, like, I feel like New Yorkers, you know, they they, they like kind of fuck. work hard, play hard, they you know, like, like, fuck, like they don't, like, in Oregon, I realize when people need to get their, like, their yayas out, they can go, like, like walk in a beautiful yeah, field in, and shit, but like right. people in New York don't have like cars and and there's a lot of people around and they they kind of like drink a lot. And, right, people and in Oregon when they want to get off, they just put on a, a fleece sweater, they drink some kale smoothie, and then go protest a social injustice. Right, you know right, that's kind of how right. they really yeah, get their no, orgasms. Exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. Here, the New Yorkers kind of like work Dude, hard, play well, here's hard. Here's the thing: I mean, New York you know, is built on fucking. You're always like, oh, definitely. Especially in the summer, you're always hot and sweaty in a it's subway. Just, yeah. There's always some really hot Puerto Rican girl with like short shorts. Right, that you're that's staring how, at. That's how it always like, was Man, for me. Yeah, there's so many yeah. beautiful Puerto Rican girls here, and I wish they liked me. <laughs> Sorry, okay. so that's my personal experience. I don't know how right. you guys feel okay. about it. Yeah. All right. Back to the document. Okay. Doctor thing. So the first question, oh, this is great. Um, it, I feel like this is like Passover. I'm reading the four questions. Uh, it literally says, but can you have sex? Question mark. Well, let's be clear. But can you have sex? But and I, that's a but with one T. I get it. Yeah, but I, I understand yeah. why people are confused because when HIV came out, granted, I was a, a little kid at the time. You I were remember- having sex with several other people. All oh, right. No, yeah. I was... I had heard yeah. if you mix blood, baby, don't put your feet up on the chair. We're trying to look, we're, we're professional. We're trying to look I professional. thought we wanted to look relaxed. No, because your, your feet are going to be out of frame there. So it's going to look like, you know, you've okay. been okay. attacked sure. by a wild coronavirus and it bit your legs off. Okay. No, All hold on. Right. I was, I was making Mr. a point. Mr. Dress casually, but anally. I want act you to anally. look professional on the, the thing. And okay. I hope, I think we're people back. appreciate we're, it. We're, Oh, we're not right. back. We're not editing this. So okay. <laughs> we are still here. <laughs> I was making a point. When HIV came out and I heard that you can get it by mixing blood, I thought if I had a cut of my finger and a cut of my other finger and I mixed them, I would get HIV. Well, the, the, you were also like a paranoid, um, uh, like OCD. Well, I'm just saying people don't know stuff, so they need lists like this. And about- let's be honest, people in, in Boonville were having sex with animals. That's how a lot and- of people think that's how HIV started. A guy right, in Boonville right. fucked a goat. <laughs> 
I think that is actually how it happened. Well, if it just, is, I'm you not guys, saying. Like, you guys had like a great like uh, you if know disinformation campaign to to blame it on that monkey to squander that idea. <laughs> no, actually, okay, let's let's get back to reality. Uh, that never. HIV didn't come from Boonville, California. I don't want us to be a source of bad That's information. True. There's yeah. so much misinformation right. these days. In uh, case anyone thought that was a real story. Yeah, it was not a real story in case you were wondering. Okay, let's talk about something let's, real. Yeah. So, but can you have sex? Question mark. Right. Mm. We're getting back to that document. Yeah. Okay. Here are some tips for how to enjoy sex and avoid spreading COVID-19. Okay. Yeah. One. What do you think number one is? Uh, I mean, I already read it, so but it's what I would have guessed anyway. Beat that dick. It's actually know how COVID-19 spreads. Oh, I thought it was jerk off. Um, Okay. (laughs) Okay, so. (laughs) How does it spread? So, uh, the virus can spread, sorry, you can get COVID-19 from a person who has it. Wow. That is the first bullet point. Dude, all these are like, there's the HIV one. I know a stand-up comedian has a bit about it where it says, if you're to to not get HIV, do not intentionally have unprotected sex with someone with HIV. No, I mean, this is literally saying that. I mean, it was just saying. He's like, that's how you get it. You can get COVID-19 from yeah. a person who has it. Okay, so. Kurt Metzger. That's his joke. Kurt Metzger's joke. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. The virus can spread to people who are within about six feet of a person with COVID-19 <sighs> when that person coughs or sneezes. Okay. I mean, this is where I'm concerned because we're we're taking these walks and we'll be we'll be walking by people and I'm like I don't see them coughing now, but maybe they cough when they came around that corner and yeah, now I'm six feet from that's them. That's not a thing, okay? It's not like unless you literally they coughed, you didn't hear it, and you immediately jumped into their airspace. It's not going to be like that. When <sighs> well, how do you outside, know that's not what happened? The dispersion of the molecules in the atmosphere is it's it's fine, okay? It's fine. Okay. Don't be scared of walking around outside. As long as you maintain six feet distance from people. Uh, but how can you maintain six feet distance when you walk by someone? From where the... they currently are, okay? Not from where they were before. I'm saying when you walk by someone on the sidewalk, you're less than a foot from them. So how the fuck is that safe? All right. Well, if they're not coughing directly in your direction, it's like, you know that I fart in your general direction? If they're not coughing in your general direction, when you pass them for one second, you're going to be fine. All right. Well, or you go run around in a field somewhere. I know. I wish okay. I, I kind of wish I was in Boonville fucking a goat. Okay. So anyway, a new virus. So we're going back to this. Know how COVID-19 spreads. You can get it from a person who has it. Okay. Yeah. Six feet. We talked about. Uh-huh. So uh, the virus can spread through direct contact with saliva or mucus. Okay. Uh, next bullet point. We still have a lot to learn about COVID-19 and sex. COVID-19 has been found in feces of people who are infected with the virus okay mm. what does that mean that means, that means you need to stock up on st- toilet paper and wipe everyone's ass you pass to get rid of the feces that's, <laughs> that's is that what you're saying no it is that, means is that, was that what you're saying basically if you know you went on some internet dates and uh you know you guys decided to finally stay away from the make asshole. it happen in person the asshole would be the bad 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 place. move right bad move but i mean also it, you know if you're even if kissing, you're not, yeah, you're going to get like, it. Yeah. Like if, if you guys said, oh, we're going to have a no kiss pact because right. of COVID-19. So I'm going to, you know, tickle your, your backside. Right. Uh, bad idea. Right. right. That's, that's what we're saying. Yeah, no tickling so of backsides for a you while. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right. You know, some whatever word, anal stuff. Right. Did anal, you, mouth, anal, oral, right. anal play. You're going to have to just put that anus on the shelf for a while. Yeah. Put it up there with your uh, your work clothes because you're not going to work anymore. You know, put it up there next to your ties. When you take it down, dust it off, screw right. it back in, right. and let the games begin again. Right. Right. Okay. So anyway, the next bullet point was uh, it has not yet been found in semen or vaginal fluid. All right. And, Advantage vaginas again. Yeah. And we know that other coronaviruses... Uh, like common cold viruses do not efficiently transmit through sex. Now I will tell you, right. I, I was looking at some literature, obviously the data is evolving so rapidly. So I, you know, and even by the time um, we post this, the information that exists on coronavirus will be an order of magnitude or exponentially different than we know now. But looking at some of the major studies on where you find this virus in different body fluids, I didn't see that they were routinely testing 
seminal fluid. Okay? So it could theoretically be. This is kind of a mute point, though, because I'm honestly, just saying, if it's someone's not... afraid of getting the coronavirus, they're not going to have vaginal sex. They're certainly not going to have anal sex. They're not going to have because, I mean, well, I you're still going to be breathed on. Right. But this is a great point. What if somebody said, oh, hey, I can like go to, you know, some sort of glory hole situation. You know what I right. mean? Oh, that's a good that point. is like this is the one thing I have left or maybe <laughs> <laughs> Corona took my job for me. It's not taking my glory, I mean, my I'm, sweet glory. Holes. I mean, I'm just trying to think what would be the one situation where you're not really experiencing. What do you think of the percentage other? of people who have experienced a glory hole? Even though very low, giving very, or receiving. Very low, it. very low. But or if somebody said, hey, you know, like, let's put on, you know, kind of full hazmat gear, yeah. but just have like a little fun area. Yeah. You know, that. It's like, that, fur, like mean, Furbies, <laughs> like the way Furbies put on those costumes, a little genital hole. <laughs> I know. Those guys, those guys are always like having little naked areas. Down yeah, there. that's what I'm <laughs> saying. That's hazmat Furby. But, you know, it's kind of funny <laughs> because the last time I was up here in Portland before I came up here for the foreseeable future of the apocalypse. Uh, I was sick. Oregon is a good place to be in the apocalypse. It is. Mild weather and mild personalities. Too close to Washington. It's too close to Washington. Washington is a hotbed of of despair. Right. Now it is. Yeah. Um, Okay. And always is kind of, I think. Right. But anyway, uh, when I was up here last, I was sick with, uh, I think, this regular flu crap. And you didn't have we, the flu. I had something. I was coughing up a lot of garbage. Yeah, he did. But he never had a fever. Yeah. He never had a fever. It was fever. just like regular, I think, sickly stuff. And uh, this was a while we ago. were having sex, but not kissing for a little bit. Right. So that's true. Yeah. We were that's almost true. training for God forbid we have to deal with it in this. Right. God right. forbid, but, knock on wood. I hope it doesn't happen because I'm fucking terrified of this virus. And like, I'm scared Ashley's going to give it to me. But like you're saying, I mean, for very practical considerations, it's extraordinarily uncommon that you would be in a situation where there would be some sort of, uh, you know, penal, penal yeah. contact or vaginal, vaginal or penal vaginal contact and no, uh, you know, no one's no going to mouth yeah. right. within six feet of each other. Yeah. I mean, you'd have to have like two people who are extremely tall, kind of like <laughs> 60, like, like no, not 69. You have to do someone the, who's short and someone who's tall. So there's a six foot gap between them. No, no, because if they oriented their bodies away from each other, like if you have two people right. who are six feet tall and they and they put their the penis in the vagina with their heads on the other sides, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Then that would be more than six feet apart. Is that a position where you're facing the other directions during sex? Can you do it? Like, like you would be doing a push up and I would be doing like looking up at the ceiling, but really but the angle would be different. Okay. It would be a different angle, but I think I'm sure this is one of those things you could do. Well, look, you know, we're going to we're going to start doing this podcast more often again. We're going to we're going to do a study. Oh, my mic fell out again. If my if my sound was weird it's cuz this mic keeps falling. I don't know why. Oh, shit. Um um we're going to do a study on ways to have sex with your face more than 6 feet apart and we will get back to you guys about wait, that. Wait, we're going to okay? do that we're going to do that study ourselves? Yeah. Like yeah. we're going to do? Okay. Well, I mean, who else is going to do it? I, mean, I was thinking listeners at home could do it. They have plenty of time. Fine. If to our listeners, if you can figure out a way to have sex with your face six feet away from your partner's face right. while listening to "Move, Bitch, You Got Coronavirus," <laughs> I'm going to say this: if you come, then over, if you come please over the hospital, send us your tips. Yeah, if you come over to the hospital and you're feeling sick, what I'm going to do here? This is another bedroom He's, right here. I'm going to drill a hole in this. Door, make a I'll glory sleep hole. in there, and then we'll just sort of figure out a way for you to kind of prop your body up, and we'll have sex through that door. It'll be like Hasidic right. Jews through the sheet, but that's with the not door. a real thing. Well, it is for the purposes of okay. this podcast now. Well, <laughs> anyway, so getting back to our, since we're getting moving very slowly through this document, um, just saying it has not yet been found in semen or vaginal fluid. But that said, the amount of testing in seminal and vaginal fluid is not like you know, as robust. I mean, imagine if you were like, all right, babe, come on. CV. They're calling it the CV. I just love that song. Okay. So remember, um, if you have, if you were like critically ill in an ICU difficulty breathing, right. And some researcher came up to you or like, Hey, you know, can we get a semen sample? You know, it's just not, it's not like a thing. You know, it's not a very comfortable thing to do that. You know what I mean? What, like, to, uh, to give someone a semen sample? I mean, I'm just saying if you were like critically ill. Right. You know, it's like not really probably. Right. I mean, how would you even thing. do it? Yeah, I don't know. But why did you bring that up? I don't understand. Because I was saying, why are they not testing that as much in the studies? Right. 
Oh, whether it's in semen, because we're trying to keep people from dying first. Then we'll worry about them fucking, you know, I think that's really the issue. Although apparently they're worried about it now because they put out this uh, thing. So here's an interesting thing. So I'm looking, was looking at this article um, that was in the journal of the American Medical Association. Very good medical journal. It was published March 11th and they looked at the fluid like of sputum, right? So stuff you coughed, a nasal swab, a throat swab, a stool sample, mm-hmm. blood sample, yeah. and urine sample, okay? And they looked at that and t- l- tried to see if they uh, had a positive um, coronavirus result testing all those body fluids, okay? And um, interestingly, uh, you know, urine, they tested in 72 people who were known positive for p- coronavirus, and none of them came back with, with a positive test result. And thus begins the age of golden showers. Right, exactly. So that's yeah, what I was saying. Golden showers used to be considered kind of freaky, but now it's just downright Christian safe. sensibility. In fact, I think yeah. we might redefine safe sex as a golden shower. That right. might be the new... Because if you got a good stream right. or prop yourself up, you could be six feet away. Or you could set up like a little, you know, like an ice luge or something. Right, that's good. You know, that... <laughs> I like that. Oh, look who didn't quiet their phone I'm during sorry, the filming. Guys, I'm sorry, oh. blowing up. I'm sorry. Mm. No, but... <laughs> All right, I don't want any don't filming listen. of me okay. dancing to that. Okay, so anyway, um, no, but but the real statements were just that it has been found in the feces. Yeah. Uh, it has not yet been found in seminal vaginal fluid. Uh, we do know that it comes through coughing, sneezing, saliva, mucus. Right. I do um, like okay. how, you know, this is a very thorough document because I was reading it and it first it outlines that it's in feces and then later on it outlines you should avoid rimming. Well, let's keep going you on. You should avoid yeah, putting your tongue to anus, which I would think is somewhat self-explanatory if, you know, feces can contain it. Mm, put your tongue to maybe any other body part at that point. Well, I don't know. No, unless it just have to. I just thought, like, you know, when you do the sex things, it's, it becomes a different body part, babe. Is that right? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so we're going into bullet point number two. Okay. Um, have sex with people close to you. Okay. We've been doing that. We've been practicing that. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 oh, but babe, who is the person closest to you? This is the next bullet point. Um, You? No. Who is closest to you? What do you mean? Yourself. Oh, that's right. This yes. is the first thing they suggest. Yourself. You should jerk. You should have sex with yourself, which I have done it, while it I was at work not, one day. I will it admit doesn't that. say jerk. It says jerk that dick. It says you are your America. safest, you underline, you are your safest sex partner. Oh. Masturbation will not spread COVID-19. It will just, sh- <laughs> it will just spread uh, shame and uh, religious what if, shame. What if it did spread COVID-19? <laughs> how crazy is that? Like if this, how it all started, just one guy just jerked off into the sink, touched a dirty dish. <laughs> That's how it all started. Or something. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, this is like when you were a teenager and they're like, abstinence is the best protection. You're like, yeah, but I'm not doing that if I can help it. So give me some, you know, although I do know a lot of friends, I have some friends who are single who are usually out there fucking on Tinder and they said they shut it down. Of course, they shut be- down Tinder? No, they've shut down their own activity on it. But I hope Tinder has shut down, actually. That's a really good. Well, I right, guess you could should. make the argument that people need like companionship during this time yeah. and, and, and you as- could theoretically talk over the app. You don't yeah, have to, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Or you could cyber sex. Yeah. I think that's but, a. I think that's an outdated phrase to be cybering. 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 Well, I had a friend who was out <laughs> when I was doing my shows in Phoenix. You know, last week, and he, he's a single gentleman. He was out there, and he was scared about getting it for a while, and then he uh, got horny or something. And then on Saturday, after the national emergency had been declared, he arranged a date with a girl to meet her at the comedy show, and luckily. He is uh, doesn't have as much game as he hopes, so she stood him up. Oh, really? Yeah, she stood him up. But he would have definitely done something in the con, you know, and he probably would have found a way to do it in well, the condo I was staying in. So thankfully, you know, it didn't happen. And I think this will really will be an interesting kind of data point to look at. Um, you know, when this is all said and done, like what percentage of people who you know did not have a long term partner kind of made some sort of like you know let's say friends with benefits arrangement oh, to yeah. say like you're safe, I'm safe. Um, 
let's just be each other's sex partner for safety reasons. Oh, I bet there is a lot, a lot of, of rekindling of relationships right now. Right. A lot of people right, who right, broke right. up. And no, it's like, going to be a fascinating. Yeah. 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 They're like, I don't want to, I don't want to not right. get laid during the apocalypse. Right. It's lonely. And then, yeah. right. And then conversely, how many people said, you know, did not make some sort of arrangement like that and said, I'm still going to have casual sex. You know, I'm going to do all the other precautions but I'm going to have casual sex because I just can't live without yeah. this. You or know? they just don't and take don't... it seriously. Like these fuckers in Florida, right, those right. Uh, little spring rakers are like, whatever, dude. Right. Or, you know. Also, maybe they're, maybe I've heard a rumor that herpes is the cure. So maybe they were just down there trying to okay, get. Also, that's misinformation. No, herpes is, that not, true? is not the cure to COVID-19. Please okay. do nobody think that. Thank you. I think we should spread that herpes is the cure. So people go out and try to actively get herpes. And it'll be like a, just like a gag. No? Right. As a no, doctor, no, how do you feel about I this? Do, that's As a, a doctor, terrible idea. Okay, you're not, okay. Let's take a different train of thought, okay? okay? Assuming that we were not in our relationship and we mm -hmm. had not been married for 50,000 years, yeah. like we, in our happy marriage yeah. of that many we years. We weren't already eating chili in front of each other and exploding in <laughs> massive bowel movements all the time, yes. Okay. Would, can you think of an, uh, like a, you know, a, an ex of yours that you would have made a COVID-19 kind of uh, sex arrangement with? Do you think you would have done that? An ex of mine that I would have done a like, COVID nineteen sex arrangement with, yeah, um, or somebody else, or a friend. And you, don't, you obviously don't have to like name names, but I'm I just can't thinking, think like, of anybody. I mean, really, when well, I've been dating you for so long that my my uh, well, you're just trying to not get in trouble. There's a couple of girls that I know, just you know, in my neighborhood that I would probably take a shot at. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, that's COVID nineteen or not? I'm would you sorry. become like a thruple if you had to? Uh, if, like, like if, if that there was, was the couple, only way I could get in. Yeah. I don't know. It depends Would what they look like. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty paranoid, but I'm also pretty horny. So I, I have a feeling. You I, are. You I are. I have a feeling I wouldn't make it through this without trying to get laid. No, I think I would probably go out and try to get laid. And I'm not endorsing that. You shouldn't do that. But I have a feeling. I'm you understand a, you're a weak man. I'm, I'm a weak man. I'm a weak man. Yeah. I'm a weak man. And I got laid a lot on the road doing stand up. And that was probably not very safe. And so fuck it. Okay, great. Yeah. Interesting times. All right, are, are we still doing this list? Yes, we're still doing oh, this list. God. Okay, so anyway, masturbation will not spread COVID-19. We're back to the list. Right, masturbation okay. will not spread COVID-19, especially if you wash your hands uh, for at least 20 seconds before and after you have sex with yourself. You know what? I will say I love- Washing your hands after makes no difference. No one does that. After you <laughs> masturbate? Okay, I was about to say. I don't want to- I just wanted to say oh. that so you would never ask me to do the dishes again. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. I was like, I, I do like the way that they're talking about this, right? Because like you're saying, you know, abstinence, like, right. When you talk about abstinence only education, right? Like they don't, they, they know it's they, unrealistic you know, for most people. You know, yeah. you, really, it should be sex with somebody other than yourself education. Well, when, when they, they say, do that, when right? they say abstinence like, is the best thing, you go, yeah, yeah. But what do us non-ugly people do? All right. <laughs> All right. They, they just, just. For anyone listening, what about us non-fuglies in the class? Just, just, what do we do? I'm mean, talking like, this I is another in, question. like I got laid in high school. The other question is, the farther we get out from Mo's last haircut, how willing will I be to oh. have sex with him? And it's going to be a long run before he gets that haircut. <sighs> it's going to be a long run. And let me say, I'm, I'm not above doing the cut. I offered to do no, the cut, I'm not but doing he's that. not willing oh, speaking of to which, let me do the cut. We've been walking around the streets here in Portland and there's like no one on the streets, but the only people we're seeing out are people getting their haircut. Oh, no, women, women. One woman. It was, oh, actually, there Multiple. was one actually each time we went on a yeah. walk, we saw somebody in a salon. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah, true. I guess not all women are heroes. I know. It's not like, it's all. not like there was like one guy in the sports bar. No. Yeah, there was I nobody. thought women were all heroes, but apparently some of them need to get their bangs done during a COVID nineteen <laughs> epidemic. So I know I don't really get that. Like nobody's going to any social events. Like just, just yeah, let your I know. Hair look it's like, like crap. dude, who's trying to bang you right now? Yeah, I don't know. Come on, relax. Okay. Um, the next safest sex partner is someone you live with. Okay, we're back to the bullet points in the document. Okay, having close contact, including sex, with only a small circle of people helps prevent spreading yeah. COVID nineteen. So. Meaning Keep your like, sex circle small. Yeah, guys. and meaning like you know, if you have a roommate and you don't really like them, but you know, you're you, you should probably have, have sex to with fuck them. them at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, you have to have sex. With I mean, your that's roommates. sort of the thing. If you're if your roommates with somebody, it's like, look, we can't leave the house. You can't really find another partner. I can't find a partner. We gotta, yeah, we got to. You know, we got to we got to make this work. I once I once like it wasn't sex, but I once did make out with a roommate. It was the only time I actually had a male roommate, and we we definitely had no interested in each other whatsoever 
Um, and, and one night I think like I was drinking and he was drinking and we both like came home around a similar time and like somehow we ended up making out and we were like, this is like just like a terrible. <laughs> it's funny. Cause I, like, well, the first apartment I moved, I lived in in LA. I was living with this guy named Alan and, and we would just get high all the time or, or he would get you guys high all the made time. Out? No, he would get out there, but there was always, there was this, there was this Russian girl named Irma in our building who was really hot and she would just, she would just come by and smoke weed with him all the time and just hang yeah. out. And I think in the same night, she had sex with both no, of you guys? She shot both of us down like oh, an hour hilarious. apart and still hung around. Like I was out of the room Isn't and he that tried like to hook up with her. the premise of like that, like uh, what's that show on CBS with the nerds and the girl? What, uh, Big Bang Theory? Yeah. No, one that? of them's dating the girl. Oh. I mean, as much as I don't watch that yeah, show. Yeah, but weren't they all like ogling over her because she was yeah. the only girl, she lived near them. Yeah. And that was so, the but it was like, she would be there and I was like, and she would come over and we'd, we would both try to make moves on her all the time and it would never happen. She would turn us down every time. Yeah. But then she would still come over and smoke weed and hang out. And so she knew where it was going to go. But it, yeah, she was just like, which was kind of funny. It was like, why? Because she, she didn't give a shit. Because <laughs> like, attention, attention is yeah, nice. Yeah. I mean, I had guy friends that I, you know, like knew were kind of attracted to me, but I didn't have any interest in yeah. and I was friends with them. I don't know. I it was mean, funny too. It's not the she, nicest thing to do, but well, you know, I mean, I, mean, I don't know. You know. I guess she figured well, She probably whatever. legitimately liked spending time with you guys. Yeah. I mean, I don't like a funny whatever. little anecdote in that. She used to do extra work for movies. And I remember one time she said, she's like, I shot this scene. Oh, I can't do a Russian name. She's like, I saw, yeah. I saw a scene with a, a little r- Russian stone like this, mate. Right? Yeah, what are you talking about? Like, you're Russian, Australian? Russian stone like this, mate. No, she said she saw a scene with uh, Seth Rogen. Uh-huh. And then I remember I was and super he high. To- he probably did. And uh, <laughs> I was super high and I watched, uh, I was watching that Judd Apatow movie, Funny People. And the camera just panned off Seth Rogen and was like fully on Irma's face for like 10 seconds. Wow. And I was just like, what the fuck? And then I never went back and watched that movie. And uh, I remember telling her, she's like, really? <laughs> but because she didn't say anything, she like didn't get paid anything. I mean, she like, got, she got paid, paid a little bit. Sure she got paid a little bit, but still it was just like ridiculous. Like she, I've never seen an extra with that much screen time. I was so high though. Maybe, it, maybe it's not true. Yeah. Maybe it was like, actually she wasn't even on there and you just hallucinated that whole thing. All right. You know what? All right. Let's just play a little bit. All right, all right. Come on, come on. I know I haven't been doing the DJ thing for a while, but I've gotten a lot of a lot of emails. People saying they missed the the Mo doing music. Nobody, thing. you he sent them to himself. No, that's not true. I've got okay. quite a few emails, all from guys, and they've missed some of the music. So maybe we need to bring it back. No? You should bring back your DJing. Let's, yeah, yeah, right. definitely. Move, okay, okay. Okay, so People next are bullet to, like, point. Unsubscribe? No, no. I like you're a good DJ. I really good. Very good DJ for when you're in the shower. All right. He is doing things like that. All right, wrap this list up. Okay. We got another question, and then we got to yeah. Let's go here. All right. If watch you next next bullet point, if you usually meet your sex partners online or make a living by having sex, consider taking a break from in person dates. Mm. Video dates, sexting, or chat rooms may be option for you. Okay, basically the New York Department of Health. Yeah. I know, and look, I mean, I think that I is. Them for I respect that. This is a very sex positive, very realistic, sex positive uh, thing, right? And I think they're saying, right, it's not realistic to say, hey, if you're, you know, if you work in the sex industry, don't make any money. But like, yeah, I mean, essentially becoming a webcam, you yeah. know, sort of performer is the safest thing to do. And I would encourage, from a medical standpoint, I would really strongly encourage people who do sex work to. Go to the, you know, webcam space. I mean, for sure. By the way, anybody who's out of work right now and thinks they can make money on the web doing that, you should do it because we had a brilliant idea. Put on a, a, a CV95 mask. Don't put on an N95 mask. Just put, put on, on a, a mask, mask. Because then. And not a real mask. Just make yourself like a cloth mask so that you're not taking masks away from healthcare workers. Right, whatever. Yes, that's true. But make a fake cloth mask and and, 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 it, and it makes sense that you're wearing it. So we kind of thematically on and then they know who you are and you can make money in the off time. Yeah, I would go. bet there's going to be a lot of people getting into the, the video cam market if this thing gets going. Mo is if you guys see somebody on the Internet wearing that headband, a mask and, and a just, tremendous yeah. amount of chest hair. Tremendous please amount. let me know and make sure sh- uh, is it not true because if you I'm have against enough it, chest hair you're immune I'm not from against co- it but coronavirus? no I'm not against it but I need half of the proceeds okay? is it true though if you grow enough chest hair you are theoretic you are uh, immune from well the you do have a layer of chest hair that is as 
that filters particulate matter in the same way an N95 right. mask right. does. In fact, I think that we should just weave your chest hair into, a into big mask. masks. I'm down with that. I'm okay with that. Like you should just fold your chest up onto your face when somebody walks by you within <laughs> six feet. Ooh, I, mean, you see this? I like it. All right. Okay. So anyway, bullet point three, same, back to the document. Take care during sex. All right. Again, avoid kissing anyone who is not in your small circle of close contacts. Okay. Number two, rimming. No rimming. Rimming, which is in parentheses, mouth on anus, yeah. may spread COVID-19. Viruses in feces may enter your mouth. Okay, great. Put that anus on the shelf condoms, for later. Condoms and dental dams can reduce contact with saliva or feces, especially during oral and anal sex. Again, though, I mean, if somebody is COVID-19 positive, right. uh, you know, probably that condom or dental dam is not going to be the difference between you getting it or not. So right. just, also, you know, be cognizant of condoms, that. Am I right? High five. Um, washing your hands before and after sex, more important than ever. Mo washes his hands for like 45 minutes after we have sex. That's true. Well, mostly um, that is just, it's uh shame that I have to get rid of. And I, you know, I put my hands in boiling hot water. He does. Yeah. Um, it's cause I'm a Catholic. He's not. Okay. Uh, disinfect keyboards and touch screens that you share with others for video chat or watching pornography. Wait, if or you if somebody else. has COVID nineteen and you video chat with them, can you get it? No. The point being, like, if you, you sure have we done being tests like, on that? If you and your friends were using the same, you know, iPad for your circle jerk. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so if you was- jerk off with your friends on FaceTime and they haven't cleaned their screen, can you get it? <laughs> No, you can't get okay. COVID-19 right. through web-based communication. Okay, good. The point being like... Mario, if, game, set, and match tonight. Being when you and your buddy bros are hanging out and you all only have one computer for yeah. ger- masturbating, wash the wash your hands before and after you okay. touch the keyboard. Great. You see what I mean? I and, hear. And, now it makes sense. And even though you're crying while you masturbate... I'm not crying. I'm don't like Don't touch this. your hands to your face, okay? Because... <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking around with wonder, like I just stepped out of Narn into Narnia. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So no ribbing, no jerking off on Facetime unless you clean your keyboard. I mean, this is you know a good point. Like I said, I used to say when I w- was doing my fellowship, uh, we had an i iPad that was really loaded up with with pornography. Uh, but when we would leave our patients alone in the room with it, uh, we would have it in a big like Ziploc bag. Why was it? And we would change Why was that. it uh, loaded up with pornography? Well, because for certain tests, like a penile Doppler, oh, uh, yeah, you have to have a maximal erection um, to get a good image. So we'd give them a shot to give them a, a medication-induced erection, but then we'd walk out of the room and tell them to to you know self-stimulate. And you know, by this day and age, most people can just like watch porn on their phone, and I think that's what they prefer to right. do. But you know, we had like this backup iPad, and between each patient, oh, we would really put gross. it in a new like Ziploc bag. But then it was tough because it's hard to use the touch screen with a with Wait, a bag. the iPad was in a Ziploc bag while they were jerking off? Yeah. Well, how the fuck do you do that? Well, because otherwise it, you would know that like 8,000 other people who were jerking. You would just put the bottom of it? The screen would be open? No, the whole thing would be in a giant Ziploc bag. A really big Ziploc bag. Yeah. Okay. Um. Fine. So then... You know what a lot of strippers are doing right now? I was reading they're uh, doing live... live uh, they're like in the strip club, watch you go to the strip club and do live Instagram live like strips. Oh, that's and cool. People can pay $20. Yeah. No, I that's mean, kind of like, you know, I was saying, you know, one of the nightclubs near, near me was live streaming like DJs. So you could have a dance. Everybody could have like a dance party in yeah. their own house. This is why we all need virtual reality. Cause if that shit, it was a little further along, you know, we could really all just still keep living our lives. You know? Actually, I wonder how, I bet all the virtual reality headsets are sold out right now. Everything's sold out. I was going to get yeah. you one of those for your birthday, which is coming up, but I bet I can't find it. Uh, don't get me one of those. I won't use that. Yeah, you won't. I won't. No, he doesn't actually like having fun. I, like all he, Mo wants to do is write things <laughs> and uh, and like. I like watching movies. I just, and, I don't play video games ice, and shit. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. He, you're so like not really like a, like a dude in that I don't way. think most guys my age are into that shit. Yeah, well, Some fucking, of them are. Are you fucking kidding me? You said Again, your, brother's uh, like a, your brother's like a young nerdy guy and he's into all that stuff. To our listeners, if you are in your late 30s... Easy. Uh, or, or 40s or 50s, Mo might be any of those ages. <laughs> what? Why are you even putting 30s in there? Uh, Why are you putting and early you, 30s? And you still play video games. Please... 
please write us. I don't know any or, guys my age or, or call reality. us. In fact, babe, how can they contact us? Oh yeah, let's let's give them that before we get two one three six three one three four six zero. Again, that's two one three six three one three four six zero. Or at the four re- uh the four release pod at gmail.com. You can yes. email us the four pod gmail.com. Uh, we didn't get to any question this week, but we will, we will get to questions. Uh, Wait, we shouldn't next. do our question. Are we beyond uh, our time? We're, we're kind of already at 50 minutes. I think I want to, cause I want to go into the sex position thing once we're done with this. Okay, fine. And then we'll do the questions next week. All right. Well, we've uh, got some great questions yeah, for you. We do. All. And we also do. big shout out to Dr. S Rogers, who recently gave us a five star review on iTunes it says one of my favorite podcasts, Dr. Ashley and Mo have great chemistry and find a way to make every episode special. I just wish the episodes would go back to being weekly releases. I miss having an episode every Thursday night, but I'll take what I can get. Please don't stop releasing episodes. And we do apologize. We do apologize. Thank you for petting me. Thank you for petting me as you're doing that. You now. have so many f- f- furs on. I know. My furry uh, he's, uh He's just wearing a, yeah, men's. But we do apologize for doing it's less episodes. Fur. I was very busy filming a pilot and editing, and Ashley and we was busy, really, and we, we just were, really focusing. were also lazy. <laughs> we're also focusing on our wedding planning, which is kind of somewhat disrupted with all this coronavirus. Totally stuff. fucked. And um, also, you know, I was working on my job search in LA, which is also totally so, fucked. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're sitting at home alone together a lot more, and we're we're gonna do more of this. Yeah, and we like and I got this really cool new video camera that we're filming this with. Yeah, and Mo's working on his budding DJ. Yeah, uh, he's, should he's, put it back on. Or? Yeah. Yeah, forget it. All right, all let's right. get back to that list. Uh, I mean, we're basically towards yeah. the end. So, perfect. so, so more rimming or less rimming? What are they suggesting in terms of rimming? I, I got lost. More rimming or less right, rimming? Right, right. That's true. We should take a deep dive. Let's get in back that. into that. They actually re- recommend less rimming. Oh, it's less rimming now. I yeah. So yesterday, it's the the news keeps changing. Yesterday they were saying more rimming. No, they were not saying. Yesterday more. They were saying the, the <laughs> virus was from no. Wuhan. More rimming. Now they're saying the oh, virus might have been Trump from said, Italy. Less rimming. So did, they did keep going Trump back and say forth. Trump the, the the Chinese rimming virus. Is that what he called? Right. Is and that what he called yesterday, it? Mike Pence said he can only come through rimming, and now <laughs> Trump is saying he can also uh, come while he face fucks him. So you know, there's a lot of different. There's a very we're learning new things all Actually, the time. Actually, they both became positive when they shared the same computer for masturbation. Right. So we're learning a lot. It's a it's an it's a new thing. Okay, all of that is also disinformation. I have to uh, say this again. Okay, so getting back to our documents, skip sex if you or your partner is not feeling well. Um, you know, which is Mo never feels well because he's an unwell. Why are you talking about? Don't I'm not. I feel unwell when I eat too much ice cream, which is only four nights Aww. a week. But often, be, when I don't do that, but I feel the very other well. nights of the week when he when he eats a moderate amount of ice right. cream, I feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> I weigh 195 pounds. I found this morning. I am so depressed about that. That is a good seven pounds more than my ideal weight. You weigh. You. Weigh, I am so fat. Wait, you weigh how much? Again? 195 pounds. Yeah, you weigh nearly 80 pounds more than me. Ugh, God, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah. No. Babe, you we and I we are doing walks. We're taking we're taking very brisk walks. I thought we took like an incredibly long walk today and then we looked at our phone and it was like 1.3 miles. Like fuck. No, it's 1.6, all right? Don't even, and it just feels long because you have the the mental anguish of seeing having to avoid other people on the sidewalk. So he feels it's like stressful. our he feels like he's like in a, you know, a, a war zone. Right. He's like, okay. Yeah. Hey, can I get in? Speaking of extras, can I get into my sex Yeah, we're list? basically done. We're There's done with one this, last bullet point. Right, okay. Prevent HIV, it. other s- s- sexually transmitted infections and unplanned unpl- pregnancy. And this is basically just <laughs> That's like what they're a, saying. They're saying one of the ways you can save face is prevent being infected with HIV now. No, I think they're just like saying that they just want to want to make sure to throw in the basics of, right. you know, smart also, sex. Also, try not to get cancer during this. Uh, it's also good to avoid. Right. Or getting hit by a bus. Right. You don't want to avoid those things. And actually, this is something we should make sure to get into in another episode. There have been consensus statements about what people should do who are planning to get pregnant or are potentially in the process of undergoing yeah. IVF and how, you know, this coronavirus may affect that. Right. And there's a lot of fears because, for example, the recent like, uh, you know, Zika outbreak there were a lot of concerns on you know how that affected uh, children in the boom now there they this is not a similar type of virus at all and prior coronavirus have not been effect, shown to affect um 
Thank you God. Know, Thank God the kids so far are yeah. spared from yeah. this yeah. shit. Yeah, but these are all very interesting questions yeah. and things that we're going to get to in the days ahead while we keep you updated. Well, we keep you informed. Well, we keep you updated. You informed. And remember, you, you can watch this all on Mo Mandel's channel on YouTube. I'm going to put it on there. And we're going to post clips of it. Mo's going to post clips of it every day right. to our right. uh, right. Instagram. The full release. What are we? The full Twitter. release pod? Full release pod on Instagram? We are the full release pod on Instagram and we're full release pod without the the. Yeah on uh twitter yeah and if you have any questions about coronavirus you can fucking call us at move bitch no what was the oh, oh two one three <laughs> six three one three four six zero or you can always email us at the four release pod at gmail.com all right let's get into this the uh the very very trashy the sun british newspaper uh online thing right. listed the sex positions that you should definitely do while quarantined all right Yes, to lay it on So us. we already came up with a few of our own, including the uh, golden shower and the be six feet apart. Uh, I thought thing. those were good ones. I thought they were very good. I think we should try them tonight for sure. Right. Or we've been eating chili. Maybe we just take that golden shower. Oh, no, we can't because of the feces thing. Okay. Yeah, it's going to mix a little bit. <laughs> okay, this first one's called it. Corona Cowgirl. You may not be able to take full control of pubs and theaters around you, but you can in the bedroom. If you want to give the Corona Cowgirl position a go, start by getting your partner to lie on their back. Then you kneel down with your back to them as if you were praying. Then you tuck your shins under his legs and bow your head. The best part of the X-rated move is that it is said to provide deep penetration, but doesn't require too many bedroom aerobics. Huh. Also good, and you're but not breathing on each other. But why? The, why? Yeah, but other than that, why is it particularly... Oh, I see. You're facing away from You're facing other. away. Oh, I see. See, there's a diagram you guys can't see. Yeah. Right, um, right. Here's COVID-69. I like that. You know, these are, very, these are very heteronormative images. Right. With this blue and this pink. Well, this whole podcast has been heteronormative so far. I think right. This episode, I'm just saying that yeah, this, this website has, should yeah. be better than us. But, but people should know that when no, we... Of course. You know, just use your imagination. You yeah, can kind yeah. of figure it out. Yeah, you know use what your mean? imagination. Yeah. Just use your... It's in your imagination. No, I'm just saying it's a legitimate point. You know? Do we have and to so apologize have to, for being heteronormative when we're talking about... Well, I, whatever. I'm just saying like, I think it's an important thing right. to always be cognizant yeah, of these things as right. you have discussions about them. And, the, and there has been heteronormative talk. There's been, again, like all talk on this program, heteronormative or non-normative. It's all just jokes and some medicine. Right. We're and, here for jokes and medicine. Well, jokes and medicine. And as I keep telling Ashley, people need laughter now more than ever. So I'm basically more heroic than she is, even though she's working in a hospital. Come for the medicine. Leave for Mo's jokes. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> COVID-69. Most people know about the sex vision of 69, but have you heard about the new sensual style in town? Ooh, sensual style. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. COVID-69 <laughs> is a new variant on the pleasurable classic as it focuses on giving one person the time of their life. That's what I like of that. About. I don't like the 69 because it's it get distracted. No, I, I agree yeah. with you. I feel like it's like you both feel like you're at like a yeah. sex buffet. You're like, I don't know what is going on. There's yeah. too many things going on. Okay. It works by one partner yeah. lying on top of the other's chest, positioning themselves so their genitals are resting near the partner underneath his mouth. The giver is able to have full access to everything they wish to explore while the receiver lies back and enjoys the sensation. So there you go. So it's just, yeah, it's, it's sort of one at a time, 69. I, oh, this is that? again the face up. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be hard not to get rim involved there. That See, I don't think this is a good one, actually, because I think that is, yeah. a, that is a, a, a lot full of anus, A lot of anus rim. going towards you. Yeah. That is a rim. And mind you, none of these positions are as good as our suggestions because these are right. all involve like faces that are six Yeah, I think ours are definitely from the best. From other faces. Yeah. Our, our, we should come out with a better The guide. Mashley Sutra. Yeah. Like make a home... Make a home glory hole. Well, you this know? one's pretty like, good. They created one called the sanitizer pump, which you got to see because it looks like that. It says, if you wanted to push the boat out and try something adventurous, the sanitizer pump could work for you. This position is a bit tricky to nail, but it promises great rewards once you once you have nailed it. To perfect the position, lie on your back with your he legs raised and bent over so your ankles are pulled back towards your head. Then the man squats so he can slowly penetrate and the trusting motion is said to be similar to making butter in an old-fashioned butter churner, which we all know so much about. <laughs> Your neck can take a cramp in this kinky position, but the move is said to be worth it. That seems very odd to me. Uh, that, that that does seem like your neck. I feel like you just break someone's like neck, neck doing that. Oh, I like this one. How about this one? This one's called the deep clean. Uh, this mind-blowing take on missionary involves lifting your legs as high as you can. Using you for support, your partner then leans on your thighs while you rock back and forth. I feel like we've done this before. Yeah, most people do that. I feel like women don't like that a lot. They feel like their their legs hurt and stuff. 
The masked zinger. I mean, that's just like doggy style with a mask on. Yeah, this one's just... Yeah, but this is what we were saying. Here's the, the images of somebody... The guy has a mask on he's, and he's having sex doggy style. Uh, Why doesn't she have a mask on? Because she's not... Uh, it's a good question. Maybe she doesn't have it. <laughs> but I think it it, it, it shows that... Um, you know, that's that's an example of sex with no kissing. Right. So Is basically, <laughs> Pretty Woman was ahead of the... Ahead of the curve. Right. Why? Did she wear a mask? No, that wasn't the whole thing. Like, she, she won't kiss. Oh, you don't kiss prostitutes. Yeah. Well, like, they won't... That that It's not like... I never saw It's like, that's woman. a sacred thing. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to give it that to you. Right. Like, right, that's right. for people you actually care about. Right. Because, you know, so many people are just dying to kiss prostitutes. Well, I don't know. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you, with the way Julia Robert looks in yeah. Pretty Woman, Those you probably would have okay. Lips. Yeah. I can't pouting. believe you've never seen that movie. I know. I've never seen it. It's like a classic. Movies I haven't seen that I should. You go after this. Well, you haven't seen anything, but Pretty Woman, Grease, Saturday Night Fever, Sound of Music. No, and there was another one. Gone with the Wind. You've never seen any Casablanca. of Casablanca. That's like crazy. I know. It is embarrassing. Wait, was it? Oh, you never saw Leaving Las Vegas either. Yeah, For but some that's, I wouldn't put won't. that up there in the same. I know, but I'm just saying. You well, I haven't seen like anything. I don't know. I don't even know what I haven't seen because I don't know anything about movies anyway. <laughs> Are we tying this up? Mo, yeah, let's, let's wrap it up. We know we're wrapping it up because Mo just like loaded up his regular email account. Like, no, he was just I wanted to. Like, see. I thought we were, I was seeing if we got any new emails here for the full release, but I think we could wrap it up. Yeah, we, we did can a wrap solid it up. hour. We can wrap it Ashley and I would like to thank all of you for listening to our humble podcast. Please subscribe and give us a good rating. Tell all your friends. And don't forget, we are answering all your questions at 213 213- Six three one three four six zero, or at the full release pod at gmail.com. dot com. Com com dot com.